Oscar de la Rosa, bro. Oscar de la Rosa. I, I've never really, I don't think I've ever even, I, I may have said hello once or twice. I I've, I talk more to Mando. Mm-hmm. Listenberger? Yeah. And, but, uh, Why do you think that's, uh, that, you know, you don't have, rep, I mean, you've been in the business together since like the same time. 81, 83, right? La Mafia started around that time, didn't it? Yeah, no, I... And I, you've all been, like, parallel in the market and, the, and, in the, and in this industry, and you've never really crossed paths or spoken or t- talked I, about anything? I never knew Johnny Canales could sing, <laughs> and so... Mm-hmm. It's just, and I'm in the industry, but I've never really um, had that opportunity. I, if you want to... I, th- I think what he's done, I mean, he's... Um, I can tell you what I kind of feel is like they they made it so big they they went into Mexico, and I thought that for a while there they they didn't take care of the the kind of audience, mm-hmm. and that's just my opinion. Yeah, it's just it's like your opinion. Well, now they they, but, they perform and they do a lot of their Tejano oh, no, songs. No, 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 yeah, 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 but that only happened a couple of years, you know. And this is the nineties, and but but they come back and they started all over, you know. To, do all the repertoire and I mean, they're they're huge but they were always one of those bands that would would explore you know also yes, as well yes. just like you did with down by the border and stuff like that uh they they would explore they had an, an album that had like a a, a reggae song and yeah. stuff like so they were in look at all like, the collaborations that they've done with i mean huge artists yeah huge artists jimmy edward my favorite see yeah Porque? my influence really yeah first First music I ever heard, Chicano, uh-huh. was Latin breed, and Jimmy Edwards would sing. Damn. Si, and what, what makes you... Si yo pudiera. Yeah, yo lo comprendo. This one? Is this the like, song you were talking about? No, no. Oh. This is the one that popped up. Is that Jimmy Edwards on here? That's Jimmy Edwards. Latin breed. Yo lo comprendo. He sings higher than I do. Wow. <laughs> This is late 70s, right? Something like that, mid 70s, early 70s. You were 15 in 75. I was 15. Yeah, and you were. Um, I was 18. probably like 13 when that came out. You were a te- you were 18 in 78. Yeah, but by 78 he he was already a solo artist. Yeah. So this is early 70s. Yeah. What does this song take well, you back to, bro? This oh music. Yeah. Well, no, there's there's so much music from Latin breed, and then his solo career but we were just saying that i, I never crossed paths with oscar but uh jimmy a was my favorite of all time i never got to meet him until i did uh like in 2014 i did one of these uh tejano legends crews mm-hmm. and he was on it and he's like uh he is uh towards the end of his show he, he comes and he sits down and and i got to sit right next to him and and so I I'm 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 like I don't know what to say, man. Fanboy, man. Yeah, you know, and then and then I had to tell him, okay, you know, I've never told you this, uh, Gary Hobbs and Gary, and and I told him you're like my all time favorite. And, wow. Dude. And and then Raulito Navaira comes and sits <laughs> on the other side and tries to take my, you know, yeah, the attention. Yeah. <laughs> So I hate le, you, Raulito. Le, le, I hate you, Raulito. No, me no. ponme, ponme el micrófono. No, no, I mean, but el, 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 like, le no, no, Raulito, no, 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 so there we are fighting over attention for Jimmy Edwards. But, wow. but they were one such a, each other. <laughs> just, uh, but very humble, very. Hey, I remember who, this one on the Who doesn't know Jimmy Edwards, man? This song right here. Like, yeah. Tu Prieto? Yeah. 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 Uh, we got to meet him, me and my wife, and he was mm-hmm. playing with Bob Gayarza. Mm-hmm. Uh, they did a show here at the convention center, and we went. It was Thanksgiving weekend, and it was him, Chente Barrera. And Jimmy and Jay, they all went in there and, and performed with uh, with Bob. And his band, Bob, was just an amazing conductor on stage. Fantastic. Guitar player, too. Yeah. He was with the um, the people that sang... Um, the Fifth Dimension. The Fifth Dimension. He's from L.A. He's not even from Texas. And uh, I wanted him on my show. I had... Um, ¿Cómo se llama? Gibby Velasquez. I had him on the show with uh, David Lee. 
Uh, I went to the studio and we were there. That was one of our one of our first controversial shows, and uh, and so we talked about Latin breed breaking all the rules, you know, with Jay, right? The Don Don Luis El Tejano, mm -hmm. the medley and all that. And so when I get home, you know, two days later, I get a call from Bob. Hey, man, th this is what happened because he's part of that album, and you know, he wanted to set the record straight. And I said, well, come on in, man. Let's do it. Let's get together. Let's sit down and, and you know, talk about the album. It's an epic album. Speak, Bob. Yeah. And um, he passed away, bro. He he, uh, he decided he got sick and then he couldn't make it. So we never got to sit down, man. And so but it would have been an amazing yeah, interview with him. Huge, huge yeah. musician. Yeah.